Hi, Team Roma. As I promised you last night, I have some big news for you. Um, so the signed dedication is scheduled for November 17th, 2018 in Norfolk. Still ironing out the details. I know, such a tease. But here's the big news. Uh, so if you don't know about Hampton History Museum, let me give you a tiny synopsis. They are a hub for our local history. Uh, they have an unbelievable collection um, on display and even more in their archives, including a huge collection of Roma-related research and artifacts, including the Lieutenant Clinton collection. So here's the drum roll. Can you tell I'm not a drummer? Anyway, um, we have been talking for a while, and specifically over the past few days, I've been talking to Alan Holman. Holman, sorry. Um, he is the current curator of Hampton History, and he is also an aviation enthusiast and historian. So he really understands Roma's importance, and not just local history, but aviation history. Um, so we are going to put together a permanent Roma dedicated exhibit. Okay, so I'm obviously busting at the seams with excitement. Um, so this is why I'm reaching out to you, to the families, friends, loved ones, LTA enthusiasts, aficionados. Do you have something Roma related? It could be newspaper clippings. It could be insignias. It could be artifacts of any sort, photographs, um, anything that you would like to either loan or donate to Hampton History Museum for this exhibit and for their archives. I am personally going to put on loan to them uh, Sergeant Joseph Ryan's dress cover for the exhibit. Um, he was a Roma victim. And by way of my friend Judy, I have Master Sergeant um, Alberto Flores burial flag, which I'm going to loan to them as well for the exhibit. Um, I'm also going to donate to the museum copies of all of my research I did prior to the book and um, also afterwards. This would include the investigation reports, maps, blueprints, um, let's see what else do I have? Uh, any of my handwritten notes, uh, the um, <clears throat> newspaper articles, anything I use for research, I am going to donate to their archives. Um, that way we can center Hampton History Museum as a hub for researchers who want to learn more about Roma and for family members to come together and honor. Now, we are going to start working on this exhibit soon. Um, they are getting ready to unveil another one and then we have the case all cleared out and ready to go. Um, I get some dimensions and stuff like that. Uh, but our hope is to have it ready to go in conjunction with the November signed dedication. So reach out to me at my email address. I will put it below. Um, I'm a lot easier to get in contact with as of today because I turned in the manuscript for my second book um, over the weekend. And... Um, so get in touch with me or get in touch with Hampton History directly. Uh, you can find them on Facebook or type them into your Google machine. Uh, so we can just really honor these guys. Um, we are hoping to also that same weekend do some sort of Q&A panel with you, the families of um, Roma. So uh, your guide... Didn't have to be on board on November 21st, 1922, but we really want to open up to the public and also take some oral histories from you, uh, your knowledge of it, how you grew up with it, um, what you know about your Roma-related person. Um, so this is incredible and amazing. And Hampton History Museum has been a huge supporter of Roma, like I said, they um, were involved before I was involved in 2012. They helped me a lot with my research, and they have they donated a lot of the imagery that's in the book. Um, I am 
so over the moon excited to share this amazing news with you. Please get in touch and we will make this exhibit amazing, interactive, beautiful, and also honorable. So get in touch with me. Super excited. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.